Hey everybody. Well, we are at a place today where there is very little cover and very little trees. We are in what I like to call the big wide open of Goose Pond wetlands. Um, it is a huge, massive area of wetlands that is a nature sanctuary here in southern Indiana. This is probably one of my favorite places to come. Uh, every time I come, I see something really cool and I hope to catch something for you guys. Um, it's gonna be really hard to show you guys the scale of this place um, on camera, but I'm gonna do my best. We'll do some sweeping shots and we can kind of see the wetlands. What I didn't know was, I kind of came out here on a lark today and what I didn't know was that there's some sort of like big goose pond festival happening. So there are tons of people around. So if you hear voices in the background, uh, that's why. It's a very popular place and uh, there's just tons of people around. So it just makes it part of the fun. So I'm gonna do a little bit of, I'm gonna spin us around here with me in the center. Just spin around, you can just see how big and flat it is and, and the scope and scale. And of course today, I wasn't planning on coming out here. This was kind of a last minute thing and I didn't bring my binoculars, so. But we're gonna, I'm gonna try and catch what I can for you guys and uh, we'll give it a go. I'm silhouetted, let's turn it back around this way. Oh, I'm with my lovely wife today who does not want to be on camera, so she's circling around me like a, like a satellite, not wanting to be on. Hi. 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 <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go see what we can get on film. So one of the first things I'm going to have to get is some sort of screen or something, that, uh, a hood that protects my screen. I can't see what I'm shooting. Uh, hopefully I was able to get that flock of sand hill cranes that just flew over. If nothing else, maybe you guys got to hear the noise. Uh, it is such a cool noise. I've talked about it in other videos. Um, to give you a sense of scale here, this preserve is 8,000 acres large. And um, I want to do a shot here in just a minute, just to kind of give you a full sense. I kind of want to wait till we have some pelicans or something that I can zoom in on. And they're further up this way. Here you go, guys. There's a pelican. See if I can get it in focus for you guys. I'm zoomed in about as far as I can be. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna zoom it out so you guys can see how far out I am. There we go. This is Goose Pond. Now somebody had dinner. Look at these. Very cool. Big freshwater mussel there. I've not seen one that size in a long time. Get out of the shadow here. Oh. Check that out. There's my hand. Yeah, pretty cool. Show you guys this nest. I have no idea what kind it is. I'm not up on my bird nests. Anybody home? No. Pretty cool though. Kind of into the scrub back here. Just following a little single trail. It's getting a little bit thinner and thinner as we go along. But I wanted to go on up this way just to kind of get away from the crowd. Let's go into this brush here. Yeah. Oh. Yikes, maybe a bad idea. Look at that. Let me get through this mess here. Oh. Okay, so once you get back here far enough, and you get away from the crazy up near the road, 
there's just birds zipping around you everywhere. It's amazing. They're flying over you. They're zipping past you like that one just did. And if we were to just stop and sit here, they'd just fly up or all around us. I love this place so much. Some red-winged blackbirds there. I don't know if you guys can see that. As we get further along here, they're kind of moving away from us. Oh, there's some ducks. It's a red-winged blackbird. There's a huge cloud of mosquitoes right here. I'm not sure you can see them, but luckily they don't appear to be too hungry right now. Part about Goose Pond is that there are snakes here and frogs and salamanders and all the stuff you would expect to find in a wetland. Um, we heard a story just a few minutes ago from somebody that was coming up the trail with us here and they um, said that they had seen a snake. They, they couldn't identify it, that they just hated snakes. It was the kind of snake they hated, a snake. Oh man, I wish I could capture it. There's a hole flock of sand hills over there. I'm pretty sure it's sand hills. It's either that or pelicans. They're so big. Looks like they're coming in for a landing down there. We may have to go down there on the road and see if we can catch those. So yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes open for snakes. I'm not expecting any, but it is warm enough out here. And uh, like the dear Mrs. Otter has said, uh, <laughs> my wife, if the frogs are out, the snakes are out. So there you go. All right, we're going to keep bushwhacking through here and see what we can see. <laughs> he gave us the old eyeball, didn't he? <laughs> you could hear his wings flapping. Yeah. We're gonna head back. We've, uh, we we're gonna go up. I was gonna maybe take us over to this. I don't know if you can see the stone wall berm right here, but that divides into another pond over there. And I can see some pelican, but uh, I heard a bunch of sand hills. But most of them, they're pretty skittish. So they tend to, except for the ones that have flown over and given us an eyeball, they, uh, they pretty much don't want anything to do with us. So they, they swim away or fly away. You know, like birds do. So we're going to head back and maybe go to another spot. Show you guys around the Goose Pond a little more. Not sure I mentioned this before, but one of the other pet names, besides the big wide open that I have for this park, is uh, I like to call it Jurassic Park for birds. <laughs> Only because I, I've... I've seen things here that I've never seen anywhere else in my life. Um, the biggest thrill was watching three or four bald eagles flying around and interacting with other flocks of birds and prey birds. Um, just tens of thousands of blackbirds swarming out over the water and then a red-tailed hawk zipping into those flocks to get dinner. Amazing. You know, besides pelicans, there's just something always is going on out here. I don't know. It's a, it's a cool place. Cannot recommend it enough. We're kind of seeing it. You know, it's still, it's only early March right now, so got a bunch of dead or brown stuff. Not dead. It's going to come back soon enough. And uh, trying to get back here in the summer would probably be almost impossible, but... Yeah, it's a whole different world out here when it's green and there's butterflies everywhere and snakes. But yeah, Jurassic Park. Not seen, not seen any dinosaurs. Seen some raptors. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> sorry.
Oh, we're getting up closer to the road, so I'm probably not going to film much until we get to another spot. I'm going to see if we can find some sand hills and drive around to other areas of the park. Um, turn around, give you another quick pan shot, and then we'll uh, be back on the road. Okay guys, we're up on one of the northern units of Goose Pond and um, way out there, I'm going to try and zoom in so you can see it. I think there's two whooping cranes. Um, don't have great optics on this camera, but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that. We're also going to head up this kind of edge of the unit here to another corner. Uh, we were told there's some uh, sandhill cranes up there, most of them have gone north already. I heard somebody in the parking lot at the visitor center say that they, uh, uh, last weekend there was like a couple thousand sandhill cranes here. So we're gonna go up and see if we can see the last little group of them before they head north. Somebody saw them up here earlier today, so maybe they're still here. We're gonna see. But let me show you those whooping cranes right there. So I'm trying to get these in focus for you guys. But what you're looking at, I think, from a very far way away, are some whooping cranes. We're up on the north, one of the northern plats of Goose Pond. My wife is super excited. This is a little bit of a creek here, right on the other side of the wetlands. And this, you can't really see it, but this muddy area here I'm going to show you what it is. If you look, I'm right in the way, but let me get in the shade. Right here, it's a claw track. There's another print here. This, my friends, and you can see it goes up. I'm going to try here. Once I get up to the top, I'll move out of the sun. But you can see where it goes right here. There it is. This is an otter slide or an otter track. Comes right in here, and goes in right there. And they move, obviously, between the two. See a little bit better coming up this way. But really, the defining thing for me were these claw tracks right here as they were trying to gain purchase as they came up the slide. So we'll keep our eyes open for otters, though. I I have a feeling that they are hiding now that we have. It's very exciting. She's very excited. <laughs> What's cool? The otters are cool. The otters are cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason we call her the, the otter wife. <laughs> I'm excited. Otter and Yodi Adventures is what we're, we're going to start calling this. All right, so we're going to, oh, I'm trying to keep you off camera and you keep walking. <laughs> I'll have, to, I'll have to edit that out. Oh, wait. Now, here, let's do this. Okay, sorry for the edit. I almost got my wife on camera. All right. So we're going to walk down here. I don't see any sand hills down here. I think those were the ones we saw flying over. I think they were on their way out. Oh, missed them. Uh, we may take this other walkway back over here and see if we can get close to those whooping cranes. The problem is, is that there's a bunch of people back up this track parked with their high optics looking down at the whooping cranes and I don't want to get close to the whooping cranes and scare them off, mainly because I have to walk past those people to get to my car. So, alright, so we're going to trek up here a little bit more and then go back that way. It's getting chilly. The wind's kicking up. Hopefully it's not too much wind noise for you guys. <laughs> so she's still super excited about the otter slide. <laughs> kind of excited so the people have left over there and we're gonna sneak up on these whooping cranes hopefully so we're gonna try and be kind of quiet don't want to disturb them and hopefully we'll get a little bit of a closer look than that zoomed in shot that I got wind is gonna die down folks I'm really sorry for the wind but you can see those guys right over there and we're gonna sneak up on them hopefully and uh, hopefully it might be a little wind noisy because we're going into the wind but 
Let me pull back so you can get an idea of scale. So yeah, they're way over there. We're gonna try it. We're managing to get a little bit closer. Really don't want to spook them, but we're gonna move up a little bit more slowly. And right now they're just white blobs on the screen. I'm hoping I can get close enough that we can get some defined shots. It'd be a nice victory today. We're a little bit closer. Got some Canadian geese that are upset with me and I really hope it doesn't spook these guys. But we're gonna take another five or 10 minutes and see if we can get up to the top of this, or as far as close as we can get that this path will let us be. All right, there you go, just in case I don't get another closer shot. Okay guys, it's about as close as I can get. Wish I could get you a better defined shot, but that's about as good as we can get right now. I'm kind of excited, this is a lifer for me. I've never seen these guys. Not whooping cranes anyway. Another batch of sand hills leaving from over there to my left. Hopefully the wind isn't so bad, you should be able to hear them. You can probably barely see them moving across the sky there. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, Goose Pond has once again delivered. It's been amazing out here. We have spent about four or five hours out here and just, uh, yeah. If you can get to Goose Pond, get to Goose Pond. It is so much, it's so cool out here. I didn't get it on camera. I did get some of the Northern Harriers that were flying in, but um, we saw a bald eagle interacting with a whole flock of ducks and uh, geese out here, just right behind me actually. And um, I didn't get the camera up in time to get the bald eagle, but the two Northern Harriers who were also getting into the act, they were swooping down into these ducks and just, these ducks were just flying everywhere. It was just a loud mess of noise. Very cool. Again, something that you're not gonna see anywhere else. Uh, only a place like this that is just so uh, incredible. Um, the whooping cranes, I got to confirm those. Those are life listers for me. It's the first time I've ever seen them. So that again, makes it a, a banner day. Um, and the otter slide, according to the otter wife, it is always going to be an otter slide. There are muskrats in Goose Pond and uh, I don't think there's any behind me, but you can see them when you walk around little muskrat domes in the water. Um, but we also confirmed that they do have river otters here and that slide went into that tributary that I showed you on the video. So it's quite possible that the river otters are coming out of the, out of the irrigation waterway and then popping into the wetlands to get some fish and maybe going back in. And that's their route back and forth and the muskrats stay, stay in the wetlands. Um, that's what we're going with. And as far as the otter wife is concerned, that's the way it is. She says they romp and play on that otter slide and nobody's gonna take that away from her. <laughs> All right, well, if you can get out to Goose Pond, do so. It is, uh, it's always magical. It's always a good, a good time. You're always gonna see something. Um, yeah, that's it. As, as always, I always say this, get out, get outside, get some dirt time, have an adventure, uh, plan a quest and go do it and uh, you'll be better for it. And it makes your heart light and it, it rubs some of civilization off of you. You can go back to it with a better better state of mind. All right, more adventures to come. Thanks, thanks for watching this far. See you on the next one. Bye.